This triple water team got me a nice amount of wins here on Ultra League, so I can't wait to showcase today's video to you for this Go Battle League video since I'm having Tapufini up on the lead at the back, Shadow Walrein alongside Mr. Mean Face, Mr. Cruel, the Tentacruel. Uh, so this team is gonna work pretty nice against the opponent. Uh, I like how effective it can be with the water typings, but also the secondary typings of each individual Pokemon are still gonna add up in the total coverage for this line against the Ultra League meta. So we're having Shadow Walrein able to cover uh, those flyers, those grass types, while uh, it can also protect with your uh, Tendacruel the Tapufini from those poisons and of course the Virisions. Uh, so with that in mind also uh, we're gonna see the coverage from Walrein and Tapufini for your Tendacruel against Swamberts. So you can see as to how you can utilize this team, the synergy is already there, it's only up to you to grab it for yourself. Also, if you do not have enough excels for your Tentacruel, feel free to go ahead and use a regular one like I do over here with Weird Davies. You can still go pretty rough on your opponents with not the fully excelled power up Pokemon, but instead with a lower excelled invested one because Tentacruel is still gonna be bulky uh, like you want it to be on Ultra League. Uh, so, able to debuff now this uh, Giratina, and in theory, Giratina is gonna be a counter to our Tentacruel, but surely you can do a lot of work with your your own tentacruel because uh, look at how easy it is to debuff this Giratina and still provide a lot of pressure with your bulk and your poison traps even when resisted you can do a lot of work up against your opponents. Final Scald to take the final shield out of my opponent here. And with that in mind now, I believe that I can easily go ahead and switch out to my Tapufini. This is their final Pokemon. They have a lot of energy, but if I can absorb uh, those moves with my Wallrun and Tapufini, of course my Tentacruel can return into the battle and finish them off with style, which is what is gonna happen and this is gonna be a close victory to start of the video. Manu will be our next opponent, no clue who that is once again, and Abreon is gonna be able to switch out to the Nidoqueen, and you know what I have a solid answer to the Nidoqueen. In general, uh, uh, Nidoqueen is gonna be a counter to my Tapufini and later on we're gonna sit up on the lead as well. So let's see first what we got here because with Abron getting out of the way, we're gonna see uh, the Earth Power on our Wallren and then the Poison Funk, but first we need to go for the Icicle Spear to try to finish them off. Down they go, I'm expecting the Obron to return and completely farm me down here, but first we have to throw a couple of Icicle Spears. But when I say couple I don't think we can reach there can we no we cannot just barely not so now Tapu Fin can go in and start doing some solid work with those water guns and the moon blast uh, I believe that they have to switch out to their final Pokemon and it is gonna be a kind of weird one for our team the toxic rock however we're so bulky we can take even the super effective mud bombs while the skull will not be appreciated by this toxic rock they cannot completely uh, go for a double mud bomb at this point because they're kind of lights in throwing a move, those poison zaps are still gonna do a lot of damage to the toxic rock, trying to farm down, we can do it before they reach to that sludge bomb, moon blast for the knockout and we can do that effectively, so down they go with the Umbreon, let's go trainers, grabbing an amazing victory for our line. Galarian Stampfisk now is gonna be kind of a good lead for our team. We also have a neutral battle against it with our Walren, while the Skulls are still gonna do a lot of work up against that Pokemon with our Tentacruel. So against Golisopod, I always try to uh, threat them in using some energy. Most of the times they're gonna go straight for the Liquidation and then switch out because in the process, in the meantime, I'm just gonna farm some extra energy for the end game for my Tapu Fini while I'm in no, no risk to get hit by a weird move because all they can throw at me is gonna be not very effective moves uh, and at this point I'm just gonna go ahead and let that next liquidation go through I also went for the nice there and, and the great excuse me because I know that uh, Stanfisk is at the back trying to catch a sludge wave I think here on the Galarian Stanfisk and I'm just gonna bank that energy for the end game thinking that they might want to do something weird uh, like a weird strategy with their Trevenant but now they're gonna use their second shield 
on the Galarian Stanfisk. What is happening here? I'm just gonna go ahead and let it go through. Doesn't matter if that's gonna be an earthquake. Doesn't matter if they farm it down. I can still do a lot of solid work with my second skull that I have on my tentacle. Just gonna wait a little bit to make sure the switch timer is up. And now my Wolverine can definitely go up against this uh, Trevenant. Uh, emerging victorious for sure because we got two seals and they have none. Uh, so top of feeling now against the world, against the Jellison, very bad lead for us, we have to get out of there, but guess what, we cannot do it, because we have an even worse Pokemon against Jellison at the back, and that is gonna be Tentacruel, while uh, our wall rain is not gonna be the best option against this Pokemon, so if you're looking for a core breaker for this line, where well, there you have it, uh, this is gonna be the Jellison, uh, so Jellison with another Shadow Ball to finish me off, but they are already too low, and now we have to rely on Tentacruel, and Wolverine to finish off the remaining team. I'm expecting a Shadow Ball once again, but I'm not gonna shield anything, just gonna try to pressure for the Overfarm, and of course, before they reach to their next move, I'm gonna throw my own Icicle Spear to finish off the Jellison at the back, they have the Cobalion, and for sure, I'm expecting a shield here, so I'm just, I'm just gonna throw my Icicle Spear, they are gonna block it, and now it's all up to the Tentacruel, and what they have at the back. If they are gonna have something like a Swambert, well, it is over but it would make no sense at all, so predicting uh, your opponent's teams might be kind of a weird thing, but if you can do it well, uh, at least you can exclude some options, you can have the upper hand over your enemies, because if they had Jellison up in front and uh, Swambert at the back with Cobalion in between, they would be too weak to grass types, but instead they have a Clefable, which is pretty cool news for my Tentacruel, and all of a sudden we have a Wincon here, even though they have the Cobalion which resists by a lot our poison moves. I know I can survive pretty much anything they throw other than the Psychic, but most Clefables do not play with Psychic, so right here I'm just gonna go ahead, block the next move, reach to the Scald here, and perhaps we can reach to another one before they do something weird with that crazy overfarm. They definitely do not know how much energy we have, because the next Scald is coming up, and this is gonna be a win for our team. Zephy Masterix will be our next opponent, who is kind of a famous trainer along the around the world, so yeah, huge shout out to him, and now we're having Surf for big damage on the Gliscor. Seeing the Gliscor staying in makes me think that whatever there is at the back might be weak to my Tapu Fini, so I want to preserve it for the end game. Of course, if they have something like a Charizard, I would be on a very good spot overall, uh, because we're having triple water against that Pokemon, so with that aside, now we're gonna use our uh, Warren with the aggressive swap against this Virizion. Not gonna switch out, which is just fine by me, Sadu Wolverine has already done its job, so what lies at the back? Uh, so I cannot uh, guess anything else other than a Charizard, but it ends up being an Aurorus. You know what, this is kind of weird, but I'm gonna take it. Scald for big damage on the Aurorus, while they had two shields, perhaps they were thinking that the Wilcon is if I'm baiting with an Acid Spray, this is not gonna happen, and now I have to block here in order to completely farm down the Aurorus with super effective damage. Uh, with the Aurorus out of the way, I know that Virision cannot do anything weird, they, they are energy dry and we can farm down with the resist water guns in a very close battle, even though they had uh, some really bad alignments towards uh, our team. So yeah, Zephy Masterix is definitely an all-around player and a global well-known one. Uh, so we're gonna have now uh, in the next battle the Goli support and you know what, our Tentacruel is just gonna wall it down and they are switch locked with us. So we're looking pretty nice here. Uh, liquidation once again doesn't matter at all. We have a hundred energy, and I'm just gonna go now for the Excel, not the great like I did before, because I know that they are still gonna survive, and perhaps we can farm down before they reach the move. But it is gonna be just the Excisor. Down goes this Pokemon. They return now with the Regirock, and you know what? I'm pretty comfortable here because they cannot farm me down with it with those Lockons, and I can still pressure so much with our Sky. 
skulls. So almost down they go already from our tentacruel at the back. There is gonna be the Trevenant and we have an amazing win con at this point with our Icicle Spears against this trainer. So after the nerf on uh, the Seed Bomb, now they need six of those uh, Shadow Claws to get there and we need five of those uh, uh, Powder Snows which is even easier for us now to finish off the Trevenant with ease. I'm just gonna let that go through. I don't care at this point about my Wolverine because Tapu Fini can go in, finish off the Trevenant and of course whatever they throw unless it's gonna be a Zap Cannon from the Red Zero, we can do just fine. Even if it is gonna be a Zap Cannon, I know that one Poison one poison Zap will do the work from my Tentacruel even resist it because they have only one HP. So yeah, in theory, uh, we have that uh, win locked down. Into the final one now and we're having Golisobot upon the lead. Once again, I'm gonna stay in, but this time I will not switch out. Just gonna go for the Moonblast because I do not like my odds up against Golisobot with my Wolverine. I have to go in and stay in with my Tapu Fini not switching out at all. Defense fell on our Pokemon and I'm just gonna let that next one go through. It is gonna be the Liquidation and now Tentacruel can go in, start farming down all that crucial energy. Uh, with that in mind, we also have the shield advantage so even if, uh, if they come in with something like a swambert we can still debuff this pokemon or just press through with a double skull and trust me when i say this double skull is still gonna do a lot of damage on the opponent so first skull now on the ampharos which is another core breaker for this team but definitely a playable one and they have a lot of sunslash at the back so all we have to do here is to land the big nook with the earthquake can we do it trainers i think we can but are they gonna expect it no no respect at all on the earthquake and the shadow warren able to get now the drill run on our pokemon and right after we can easily from down here while that uh, ampharos will return into the battle and i believe that we are looking on a good game for both of us both of these trainers me and my opponent and yeah there goes that and right now we can reach easily to the next to the next icicle spear and we're gonna grab this victory so that is gonna be all for today trainers just be sure to leave a huge like before you go and as always subscribe to the channel if you are new to my content with that said i have two videos for you to check out so feel free to do so and i will see you all into the next one